Today we're doing thrift flips and trash to treasure home decor. If you remember last week, I swapped out my chandelier in my bedroom. There was a fan in there, it was dark and dated, but we are going to take that fan and we are gonna transform it into pieces that will be unrecognizable. So the first thing we need to do is take apart this fan. I got my screwdriver out and I went to work. I disassembled all the individual pieces from the fan. Once everything was disassembled, I laid it all out and I put on my creative thinking cap and started playing a little bit of mix and match and I put some pieces together and mixed a couple different ones until I came up with a plan. Our first trash to treasure transformation is going to begin with these pieces here. We are going to be creating a stunning container. Now, like I said, these are the pieces that we're gonna use from the fan but I needed a sturdy base. Last week in my Look For Less dupes, my ginger jars needed a base to go on the bottom. So I found these wood rounds at Hobby Lobby. So I knew that they were there. I headed back over to Hobby Lobby and I found some similar wood rounds. These are larger. I love the detail on them and they come in at a great price of only $3.49. Now I have all of the mismatched pieces that I need to create my container. So what I did was I put that wood round down first. Then I took the first intricately detailed piece from the fan. I added E6000 along the bottom rim of this piece. And then I placed it firmly in the center of my wood round. Next, I took a circular piece from the fan. Again, I added some E6000 to it around the circumference, and then I put it over the top of the decorative piece. Now, I did get some hot glue and run it along the rim of this piece. The reason being is because I didn't want it to slide around while the E6000 was drying. The hot glue will hold it temporarily, and the E6000 will solidify these pieces together long term. And finally, I added some E6000 to this circular piece, followed by some more hot glue. Then I took my frosted glass bowl from the light fixture and placed it directly into the glue. After all my pieces were in place, I let the E6000 dry for 24 hours. Because this container is a mixture of wood, metal, and several textures, we need to bring everything together and make it cohesive. We're gonna do that with some white gloss Rust-Oleum spray paint. I took my container outside and I sprayed it in the spray paint. I made sure that the entire container was covered in this white spray paint. I got underneath the bowl. I made sure that all the decorative pieces were painted and then I let this first coat dry for one hour. It definitely needed a second coat, so I came back and I did the exact same thing. I sprayed the entire container in the second coat of paint. Once I achieved the look that I was going for, I let it dry for three hours. One thing that I knew would really bother me long term was that there was a gap in between the metal decorative piece and the wood base. So that just would have bothered me. We have gotta take care of that right now. We're gonna do it with some all-purpose caulk. What I did was I ran a bead of this caulk right in that gap and I wiped it so it was stuck right in there and then afterwards I got a damp cloth and I wiped off the excess caulk. Now we have a beautiful cohesive piece. All right, you guys, let's take a moment and just admire how beautiful this container is. Can you believe it started out as a light fixture that was dark and dated? And all we did was reimagine it into something that in my opinion is much better. It definitely looks like a high-end piece of beautiful home decor. So now that we have our container, let's add some flowers to the center. I have a whole bunch of cream flowers, cream and white flowers. I wanted to keep it neutral. And so these are the flowers that we're going to be using. Now we're gonna create a tape grid. Of course, you guys know I love creating tape grids. So I got some scotch tape and I made a few lines horizontally and vertically across the top of this container. Now I can take my flowers and what I did in order to get them the height that I want was I bent the stem and I placed them inside of this container. 
I'm using some peonies, some hydrangea, a few magnolia flowers, a large variety of different types of cream flowers. Once all of my flowers were in the correct spot, I got some gold leaves and I added those in the arrangement for a pop of color and an elegant accent. All right, you guys, look at how beautiful this flower arrangement is. How stunning is this? Look at how big it is. It's huge. And we started off with a light fixture that was going to be thrown away or donated, but we decided to give it new life. So if you have some random pieces laying around your house that you just don't know what to do about, see if you can transform it into something that is more your style. To me, this is a classic piece. It's a timeless piece and it came a long way from being a dark dated fan in my bedroom. Our next thrift flip involves this $2.99 container that I purchased at the thrift store. This container is actually two pieces. There's a smaller container inside of a larger container. I'm guessing that you could put something down below or around the edges to beautify it. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to take the smaller container out of the larger container and we are going to transform the larger container. Right now, it is a pretty sad plastic container, but it's going to be unrecognizable when we are finished with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is wrap the outside in some copy paper and blue painter's tape. Stick with me, we're gonna be painting the inside of this container. So what I'm gonna do is take this outside and spray just the inside in this gold Rust-Oleum spray paint. I made sure that the inside of this container was completely covered in this gold spray paint and then I let it dry for one hour. While the paint was drying, I thought this would be a great time to create a botanical design in my Cricut design space. I had my Cricut maker cut out this design on some removable vinyl. So now I have my design and the paint is dry. So what I'm gonna do is simply remove the copy paper and the blue painter's tape and then I'm going to put these botanical vinyl pieces on the outside of my container. I made these botanicals in a variety of different sizes and I put them sporadically throughout the outside of this container. Now I'm going to take my container back outside and this time I need to protect the inside of my container. So I got a paper plate and I popped that right over the top. And then I got some white gloss for stilling spray paint and I painted the outside of the container. I made sure the container was completely covered in the spray paint and then I let it dry for two hours. I wanted this to be completely dry before we removed the removable vinyl. So once it was dry, it was so easy to peel those pieces away from this container. And what it revealed behind was the gold paint that we painted on the inside of the container earlier. I continue to remove all of the vinyl from the container which provided a beautiful, natural, botanical design. If you don't have a vinyl cutter, there are so many other options that you can use. You can pick up some stickers from the Dollar Tree or Michaels. You could use a stencil and put that on the outside, spray it, and then remove the stencil to create a design. There's a lot of options, so don't feel like you need to have a vinyl cutter in order to do this project. But already, you guys, look at how stunning this transformation was. It was so easy, it involved minimal steps, and it was super affordable. To beautify it even further, what we're gonna do is add some flowers to the inner container. So again, we're gonna start off with that tape grid. I put a few lines vertically and horizontally over the top. This time, I'm gonna go with some pink-toned flowers. I grabbed a bunch of these beautiful peonies. Of course, I bent the stem to get it the right size. And then I placed all of these gorgeous flowers into this inner container. Once my flowers were in place, I just picked up that container and placed it right inside of the decorative container. And here we go. 
here is the final look. Can you guys believe that we purchased this container for $2.99 at the thrift store? Look at it now. It doesn't even resemble what it was originally. The detail around the outside of this container is so cool. And to think that we did it just with paint. Paint on the inside, a decal, and paint on the outside. So if you find some dull pieces, but they are affordable, you can always transform them into something magical. I love all the Disney parks, but I think my favorite is Hollywood Studios because my favorite rides are here. I love Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror. And of course, the Star Wars. The Star Wars are here. Obviously. This is such a fun park. So we're gonna enjoy the evening and we're gonna take you along with us. by the Tower of Terror. Woo. So to so reward scary. ourselves, let's go get a snack. Show us what you got. A brownie sundae. A brownie sundae. That looks delicious. fun outing every now and again it's okay to take a break recharge your batteries and then come back to real life and get to work which is what we are going to do our next thrift flip involves this glass bowl it was hiding on a shelf at my thrift store and luckily for me I found it I loved the size the shape and the price of $2.99 it's pretty dirty, but that's an easy fix. Believe it or not, we are going to turn this glass bowl into a decorative jar. And every jar needs a lid. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I actually picked up two of these wood rounds. This piece and one of the cast off metal pieces from our fan are going to be transformed into our lid. So I took these two pieces outside and I sprayed them in the same white gloss Rust-Oleum spray paint that we've used previously. I made sure that the wood round was coated in the white spray paint as well as the decorative metal piece. I made sure that they were completely saturated in the spray paint and then I let them dry for one hour. Now that they're dry, we are going to beautify the top of the wood round instead of just leave it plain white. Hobby Lobby has such a huge variety of scrapbook paper there. They have an entire row. I selected this white and gold floral scrapbook paper. It is so, so pretty. I love the gold sheen that it has on it. What we're gonna do is we are going to Mod Podge this scrapbook paper to the top of our wood round. So I took my wood round and I put it over the top of the paper and then I traced around it. Then I cut it out and the circle fit beautifully over the top of my wood round. Next, I took my Mod Podge and a sponge brush and I added a liberal amount of this Mod Podge to the top of the wood round. And then I took my paper and placed it over the top of the Mod Podge. I got a kitchen scraper and I pressed it firmly to the paper. Doing this will get any air bubbles that are potentially trapped underneath the paper out and it will help it to lay flat. Then I took some more Mod Podge and I put it over the top of the scrapbook paper. 
I made sure that there was a lot of Mod Podge over the top. That way it was well protected. Once it was completely covered in the Mod Podge, I let it dry for two hours. Now we're gonna take that decorative topper and place it right in the center. So I got some E6000 and I ran a line of this glue all along the bottom portion of this decorative topper. Then I placed it firmly in the center of the wood round right on top of our beautiful Mod Podge decorative floral paper. Then I let it dry overnight. This lid is so, so pretty. Look at that. This was a wood round, wood round, scrapbook paper, cast off light fixture piece. <laughs> and look at how gorgeous this lid is. So what we're gonna do with this lid is place it right over the top of our thrifted container. It fits on there so nicely. And now we have a gorgeous jar. Now I'm going to place some cookies inside of my jar. I stacked them up so they were so pretty. Now this is not going to last because I have children in my home and they are going to make short work of these cookies in about five seconds flat. So let's enjoy how beautiful these cookies are stacked up right now. They look so pretty in our jar. However, there is a variety of things that you can add to a container like this, to our jar. You could put some bath bombs in it and put it in your bathroom. You could put in some of your favorite keepsakes or some decorative pieces and put this on a shelf. And of course, you can take this lid right back off and it can be a glass bowl that you could put all kinds of things in. So this is such a versatile piece that we got for so cheap. This surflip was affordable, it was easy to do, and it was created out of pieces that most people think had a little to no value. Everything that we created today, I think looks so expensive. And look what we made them from. No one would ever guess that the pieces that we made today originally started off as a dark dated fan or pieces from the thrift store because everything looks unique, custom, and high end. Hopefully you can see that you can live beautifully every day in your own way. All you need to do is notice the beauty that surrounds you. If you like this video and want to see more like it, I would love to have you subscribe so I can share those with you. Thank you so much for watching.